Hi, I'm Angelina Hardy. I'm the Executive Director here at New Bern Civic Theatre. And I'm Karen Pierce, and I'm producer for Little Shop of Horrors. The producer does a lot of things, but the main thing that the producer does is keep track of the business aspect of a show so that the director can concentrate on the creative side, on, on directing. The producer keeps track of, first and foremost, the money, the budgets. Money doesn't get spent without the producer knowing about it and approving it. Uh, because the producer has to then present all of this to the executive director. I actually read a, a book once when I first produced, and I read the director's part, the stage manager's part, and it, it went into all this detail, but when it came to the producer, all it said was the producer is responsible for everything from A to Z, and that's basically yeah. the gist of it. The producer provides the sandbox so the actor and the directors, or the director and the actors can play. Well, choosing any any show for any year, there's a lot of factors that gets into place. It's not just about money. A lot of the time it's about stretching an actor. It's about what the community wants. We find that musicals do better than straight plays because people love hearing music. Uh, the first thing we do is, well, we pick a show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use 1776. It's the most recent. 1776 was a very expensive show to put on, but we also knew that it would be a very well attended show. So that kind of balanced out the decision. To put on that show was roughly $31,000. And that $31,000 includes the production budget as well as the operating um, budget in that as well. We're in two very old buildings and it costs money to keep these buildings up. We do own them and uh, they need a lot of tender, loving care. There, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of maintenance involved to keep the lights on, to keep the staff going, the air conditioning, air conditioning, everything. Mm -hmm. The costumes for 1776 originally was budgeted at 3,000. We were able to minimize it to 1,500, which is still a lot of money to right. put towards costumes. The set construction, mm -hmm. everything that you saw on that stage, came to about 800 dollars. The musicians, music is very important, mm -hmm. so the, the music in that came to about $4,000. So when you take all of that, just the bare minimum, the set, the costumes, and the musicians, you know, you're looking at a hefty, hefty price. It comes to about $6,300. $6,000 to just put a basic show together mm -hmm. on a production side. But when you look at these numbers, um, $31,000 in expenses, and we pulled in $35,000 in revenue. That's only a profit of $4,000. So mm -hmm. this is where fundraising mm -hmm. is, is so important. And Grants are so yes. important and donations and right. sponsorships. With the support of the community and with grants like the North Carolina Arts Grant that was awarded for Ain't Miss Behaven as an outreach to the African American community, it gives New Bern Civic Theater an opportunity to really give back to the community. I had a gentleman one time when I was first starting out had told me, Angelina, I don't donate to people's entertainment. And I thought about that and I thought, yeah, I guess we are doing a lot of entertainment here. But then I thought, you know, if entertainment is what you see, then you're not looking hard enough. There is a lot more on this stage than just singing and dancing and memorizing lines. We're putting out quality, quality shows and quality people that, right. you know, are getting the best of New Bern Civic Theater and taking it out there. And who knows what spark you may have generated. Absolutely. If not, not just for appreciation and love of theater, but just an enthusiasm overall. So when you're buying your ticket and you see $20, maybe not look at it as $20, maybe look at it as, hey, I just helped put that set together, mm -hmm. or I just helped put a child through the summer workshop, mm -hmm. or I help that musician get up there and do something that he loves. Right. It's just amazing the, the collaborative effort that goes on, and most of it you don't see. But that, that's the magic of theater, too, to make it look that effortless. Did we just... Did we just disillusion everybody by saying it? Magic? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, this, this is easy stuff. It just happens. Mm, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>